Hi gorgeous, I have here the new products by Elf Cosmetics. This is the limited edition collection Cookies and Dreams. I picked up some products that I was more interested in like this eyeshadow palette, the brush set, the lip exfoliator, Oops. also one of the no budge eyeshadows, the sponge and also one of the lip glosses and let's start with the palette. In this one we have three shimmery eyeshadows and the rest are matte. I really like the color story, it works so well if you want to create blue smoky eye looks or brown smoky eye looks it is perfect for day to night makeup looks this shade here is beautiful to highlight the inner corner of the eyes it's not so impressive in the swatches but on the eyes it looks gorgeous I was impressed by the light blue matte shade because it is actually noticeable on the eyes I wasn't expecting that this eyeshadow here is actually a dark blue navy color you don't see that in the swatches also in the pan but when you apply this on the eyes you're gonna see the blue color. The shimmery eyeshadows are a little bit powdery so it is best to apply them with your fingertip otherwise you're gonna have some fallouts on the under eye area or you can do your face makeup after the eye makeup. The matte eyeshadows are easy to blend on the eyes and the shimmery are very soft on the eyes they don't intensify any texture. I have done a very simple eye look with the palette that I'm gonna post in a few days so stay tuned. We can agree that the packaging is very basic but at least it is sturdy so you know it's not gonna break anytime soon I like this a lot and after that we have the Cookies and Dreams brush set we have three brushes the flat eyeshadow brush the eye contour brush and also the blending brush and with this we have the same marble design these are easy to hold and do your makeup also we have soft bristles what I don't like is the size of the brushes for example this is the blending brush and it is huge you can also use it to apply highlighter on the face. This one here is the eyeshadow brush. It is very small for the eyelid. I prefer using this on the lower eye. You can use it in the outer corner or inner corner. And here I have the eye contour brush. This is actually a good size for a contouring brush. It has the perfect size to define the eyes. Even though these are not exactly what I wanted, I'm gonna still use them. And following that we have the black lip gloss. So I'm very excited for this. This is the Cookies and Dreams lip gloss in the shade Cookie Dreams Cookie. That's a weird name. I was very curious about this one because I wanted to see if it was gonna be patchy and I was wrong. I'm so happy for that. This is a black lip gloss with blue glitter. The lip gloss is very glossy. It feels thick like a balmy consistency but it's not sticky. As you can hear the stopper is very tight. It doesn't leave a lot of product on the applicator so you need to go back a few times on the lips to have an even coat of the lip gloss. I think it is a very fun product to try and after that let's go to the badge eyeshadow. So this one is basically an eye crayon. On one side we have a big sharpener and on the other we have the crayon. We have a lot of product actually. I got this in the shade Chill Zone Relax. You can find this in four shades. I thought this was so interesting it is a little bit stiff when you use it on the eyes so don't apply a lot of pressure it is more intense when you use it directly on the eyelid however I think it is better to use it with a brush the skin around the eyes is very delicate it doesn't have a very spreadable formula that's why I also don't want to use it directly with the eye crayon it has a very good color payoff I was very very impressed with this one because of the stiffness this can work work for a graphic eyeliner look. Up next we have the single scoop face sponge. It comes with a little cone. It is super adorable. I have used it also for today's makeup look. This is why it looks dirty. This is latex free. It gets twice as big wet. It doesn't fit so well for my inner corner. I have smaller eyes. I can squeeze it and still use it in the inner corner so that's fine. It's a very soft sponge. It doesn't absorb a lot of product which is great. That means you can use less product also it is very easy to wash and durable it blends the product nicely also we have this cool design it's not as soft as the beauty blender this one feels more synthetic the beauty blender is a lot softer but it absorbs more product also it's not so durable when you're washing it I prefer this over the 
pink sponge that they have that one doesn't blend my foundation so seamlessly like this one and then we have the lip exfoliator this one has a light sweet taste and scent it reminds me sugar cookies or maybe ice cream this one is very soft on the lips you need to press it a few times to exfoliate them and fill the grains the grains of the lip scrub are dissolving on the lips i think it is more practical to have a lip scrub in a lipstick tube after removing the lip scrub with just a tissue the lips are looking super smooth and hydrated i like this one a lot my favorites are the eyeshadow palette and of course the lip gloss i'm curious about your favorites and i will see you in the next one